Hi, welcome back to Sermons by Dale Dudgeon. I hope you're having a good day. I know this is a time when a lot of us are alone, and a lot of us are feeling alone. And in these times of solitude, I'd like to read about a man who, in the Bible, certainly had his fair share of time spent alone. And that's the prophet Elijah. In the book of 1 Kings, in the 19th chapter, beginning in the 7th verse, we read these words. And the angel of the Lord came again the second time and touched him and said, Arise and eat, because the journey is too great for thee. And he arose and did eat and drink and went in the strength of that neat forty days and forty nights unto Horeb, the mount of God. And he came thither unto a cave and lodged there, and behold, the word of the Lord came unto him. And he said unto him, What doest thou here, Elijah? And he said, I have been very jealous for the Lord God of hosts. For the children of Israel have forsaken thy covenant, thrown down thine altars, and have slain thine prophets with the sword. And I, even I only, am left, and they seek my life to take it away. And he said, Go forth and stand upon the mount before the Lord. And behold, the Lord passed by, and a great and strong wind rent the mountain and break in pieces the rocks before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind. And after the wind, an earthquake. But the Lord was not in the earthquake. And after the earthquake, a fire. But the Lord was not in the fire. And after the fire, a still small voice. And it was so, when Elijah heard it, that he wrapped his face in his mantle and went out and stood in the entering of the cave. And behold, there came a voice unto him, and said, What doest thou here, Elijah? There, as we read that story, we see that Elijah was alone. He ran away from Jezebel. She threatened to kill him. And first he ran into the wilderness of Beersheba. And there an angel of the Lord came to him and fed him twice, and then sent him on his way to Mount Horeb. And when he got to Mount Horeb, God said, What doest thou here? What are you doing here, Elijah? And then Elijah voiced his complaint. He said, I'm all alone. I'm the only faithful one left. All of the Israelites have abandoned you. They've torn down your altars. They've killed your prophets. I'm the only one left. As we see Elijah's situation, he was alone. It was a time of solitude for him. He was by himself in the wilderness and then in a cave. You know, there are a lot of people that crave solitude. They love spending time alone with their own thoughts or in meditation. There are other people that dread solitude. It nearly drives them crazy. But this time, Elijah was alone. But not only was he alone in solitude, he felt lonely. You know, some people can feel lonely even in a crowd. And here Elijah felt lonely. He said, I'm all by myself in this. There's no one faithful beside me. Uh, he felt like it was just him against the world. But the truth was that he wasn't alone. If we read down further in 1 Kings 19, down in verse 18, we read these words. Yet have I left me 7,000 in Israel, all the knees which have not bowed unto Baal, and every mouth which hath not kissed him. There were 7,000 other faithful people in Israel that Elijah didn't know about, but there was a faithful remnant, 7,000 people. That's a pretty good number. Jesus started the church with just 12 apostles. So Elijah wasn't alone. God told him, you're not alone in this. You know, sometimes when we're in these times of solitude, uh, it seems like there are things in this world that are certainly bigger than us and out of our control. And as Elijah was alone there on Mount Horeb, there was a big wind, and there was an earthquake, and there was also a fire. But in none of that did God speak. But the Bible tells us that he spoke in that still, small voice. So even we're, when we're alone at this time, we can still hear the voice of God. God still speaks to us today. We can read the words that he said to Elijah in our Bibles today. So even though we might be alone, we don't have to feel lonely. You know, we're all in this together, folks, and you don't have to feel like it's just you. 
and also the Lord is with you. His angels are watching over you. And in the end, God gave Elijah a job. At the end of this, he sent Elijah on various missions to accomplish God's will. He asked Elijah there twice, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? Uh, God had something for Elijah to do when his period of solitude was over. And I'm certain God has something for us to do when our period of solitude will end as well. Well, I hope you think about this, and I hope it's a blessing to you, and I hope that God blesses you and yours until we can talk together again.